Hey guys, we just finished watching the latest episode and oh my goodness. There's a lot to talk about. Do you feel like you are growing in love? Yes, I feel like I'm, we're growing. Like Do you I, feel like we shouldn't be saying that word yet? Uh, yes. So you say that Jessica's the alpha female, so she's waiting on Austin to say that he loves her before she'll tell him that she loves him. Like, why can't we just say it if we, but I mean, then... yes, I, I do want to give it time. Should she just come out and say it? Just lead the way, girl. What's the worst? I mean, it's always a no until you ask. I know I'm ready to say those words. I just wish that he would say it first. You love somebody, tell him you love them. You make it sound like it's so easy, but you didn't say I love you first. I did. I was six months into our relationship, so listen to you. I wish he would just say it. Just tell me you love me. It's so soon. It's only one month. Did I tell you I love you one month? No. All right, so before she get on Jessica, she jumped on me one time and was like, say you love me. Say you love me. She's on top of me like this. Say you love me. Say you love me. <laughs> so Jessica, don't even listen to her. Now listen to me. You should probably stop pressuring Austin. I got us two round trick chick mix to go to Ocho Rio, Jamaica. Wow. I'm just wondering how Michael can afford uh, this huge trip to Jamaica, to some dolphins. But does he have a job? I don't know, my speech is the gift was If he really did that, I would want the pamphlet. I want, I want to know. Confirmation emails. I want confirmation emails. This was a great one month anniversary. I just hope that he's telling the truth. I want to believe it, but like, where's the proof? Has he asked for her birthday? I mean, if he hasn't asked How's for her birthday, the then there's no plane ticket. How long are we staying? Where is the dolphin excursion? Because he is such a liar. Like, I would start to want to just with him at this point. I don't have anything I want to get off my chest. I'm trying to get rid of any animosity I have towards you. I think that the apology wasn't good enough. I offered my piece. I like the gesture to card, but I like a verbal, like, look me in my eyes and apologize to me. We should just be talking about how we're going to move forward. I feel like she's being a bigger person and, like, just wanting to move past it. So I'm going to go Team Taylor on this one. Hmm. Mm -hmm. OK. Do you want to be friends? No. I don't think he would have accepted any apology. I think it's just over it. So I got us two tickets to see your favorite artist. Shut the f up. Derek is putting forth his best effort time and time again. I haven't seen her put forth much effort or as much effort as he has. Honestly, same. It's really interesting that she it's constantly him. talks about like what she needs and then he tries to deliver it all. So, like, what did she get him for the one month? I don't know. Did she get him anything? Thank you for making tonight perfect. He's doing all of this really nice stuff for someone that he doesn't love. It honestly feels like a slap in the face sometimes. Literally, don't get me started with that. Most frustrating person in Married at First Sight history. You haven't been honest with me. What are you talking about? Just think about it. Why don't you just say it? It's not my place anymore to say it. What the f He's sitting here saying that Mindy, at some point, wasn't being 100% honest. And he just expected Mindy to know what he was talking about. You haven't been in touch with my friends or anything like that, right? Lindsay has reached out to me. She had things to say. Out of all the girls right. in DC, you go and talk to her friend? It embarrass her like that. It's on national TV. When was the last time you texted? Or talked he to him? He texted me this morning. He texted you this morning. Wow, he must really think I'm dumb. You cannot text your wife's friend. Unless it's like a surprise. Yeah, like, unless you try to set up a surprise party for your wife. Or you screwed up and you're like, hey, I messed up. Shanice has me blocked. You mind if you could? <laughs> <laughs> you mind if you could tell Shanice that I was about to like to talk to her? She's laughing, but she's done this to me before. <laughs> you don't have that still, do you? I deleted it off my phone. Who yeah. Who deletes texts? Only people who have something to hide. I said I'm not going to talk to you again until filming's over. You're going to be friends after filming's over? You were going to still talk to him after the show? That's the best part. She's like, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. I, sh I should totally block him right now. Yeah, I see your point. You're right. Just know that I'm here for you whenever you're ready. OK, Lindsay. Oh, Honey, on, sometimes it doesn't on. matter how long you've known somebody. Sometimes you really just have to remove someone from your life. <laughs> Someone's lying to me. All right, that's all we have for the latest episode of Couples Couch. Thanks for watching with us. We'll see you next time.